Hey folks, Odd here with uh, just some, some more updates on the power situation that was going on in San Diego, San Francisco area. Power restored after outage at San Diego Airport. Power has been restored to San Diego Airport Terminal after an outage caused minor flight delays and forced security workers to hand screen luggage and passengers. I would say don't touch me, TSA. But anyways, high voltage transformers blew on the terminal's roofs Saturday evening. The outage shut down computers, jetways, and baggage delivery systems. Electron storm. Solar, you know, the CME impact. The radiation storm. Yeah. All this uh, plate movement. Here's more on it. Power pole fires cause outages all over San Francisco. 27th. So 26th and 27th. You know, like I was saying, also happened in New York, you know, a few days ago. And in Texas, power poles all over San Francisco caught fire. Power poles all over San Francisco caught fire. Sunday, cutting off power to thousands and keeping crews busy scrambling across the city. At the height of these incidents, about 3,000 people were without power by 5 p.m. About 1,000 still don't have power. Our cameras caught crews at California on 25th Avenue working to repair a power pole that split and caught fire early Sunday morning. Several power poles caught fire throughout the city. And while no one was injured, one man had a very close call. Several power poles, like this one on London and Russia streets, burst into flames and sparks overnight, Paul Michael says. This pole on Pyrrhus between Cole and Clayton streets blew up Sunday morning as he was backing his car out of his garage. He says, I heard a small explosion and saw sparks coming from the area. There on, the po that, on that pole, he said. Then suddenly his wire came down, or this wire came down across the hood of his car. <clears throat> Scary stuff, folks. What is causing all this? You guys leave your comments at the bottom and tell me what you think. Also, breaking news, just wanted to get this out. Confirmed tornado in progress right now in Depth Smith County, Texas, about nine miles south of Sims. Okay? And now that right there was just, just updated. Sorry, computer's acting a little screwy right now. At 9.07 p.m., okay, let's so take heed to that. Also, tornado warning for Leapier County, Michigan until 11 p.m. So watch for these tornado warnings, folks. Remember I had on my first news broadcast today about the uh, potential outbreak for severe weather. Also, the tropical storm, you know, storm warnings issued for coastal areas in southernmost parts of Mexico due to tropical storm Barbara. Watch out, folks. My sister is on her way, and she is not friendly. <laughs> so there he goes, folks. Also, Mickey's Toontown area of Disneyland evacuated as a precaution due to an apparent dry ice explosion. Hmm. Let's look into this. Sorry, that page doesn't exist anymore. Really? Hmm. All right, then. So there you go, folks. That's that. And then now on to here. Digital healing. How big data helped Florida Hospital get on track. You guys already know about all this. Biblical signs coming into life, into reality. So there you go, folks. Just wanted to go ahead and get that out to you. You know... Leave your comments at the bottom. You know, tell me what you think is causing those power pole sparks. Tell me what you think about this whole new digital healing data thing with the agents on the news broadcast. And uh, all these tornado outbreaks and massive weather reports, you know. It's just getting crazy. So let me know what you guys think. So there you go, folks. Much love to you all. And may God bless.